think it's important not to become stressed about how they're progressing. And trying to make their yeah, schoolwork a bit more of a priority. Having some sort of structure or organisation is also really important. There's loads of time to catch up. And I think so long as you're fairly consistent, you, you pretty much stay on top of what you're, you're trying to do. Having that, that rough schedule of, okay, morning is the time that we work, and then afternoon is the time that we have free. You know, try and involve other people where you can. If there's a willing grandparent or a friend or someone that's good at something, you know, take the pressure off yourself a little bit. I think it's important to know that you can't do everything. Relax. That's pretty much it. Like, it, you don't have to stress about it getting it all done and it's not like this 9 to 3 type of thing at school. Just slow down and do what you want to do and what you can do well. Just enjoy it. A lot of parents I think have a very high stress level when it comes to knowing how their kids are going. And don't be afraid to, if things aren't working out, just you know, get in the car and go and have a picnic or something. I've had the good fortune to spend some time in schools and, and I guess that gave me the confidence early on to know that whatever I was going to be doing, they were going to be progressing. Because there's a lot of distractions that can enter into your day. You cannot become stressed by interruptions because they happen all the time. It's being flexible. Adults learn best when they can follow their interests and I don't think children are, are any different so I think it keeps them engaged if they can follow their interests. I have fairly high expectations on older children to um, know what they need to do and be quite self-paced. To get kids as independent as they can be as early as possible I think so that they take responsibility for their own 